Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. It's time to learn how to enable haptic keyboard on iPhone running iOS 16 or later. One of the upgrades with iOS 16 that's a bit under the radar is the ability to use haptic feedback with the native keyboard. While we have seen third-party keyboards like Google's Gboard offer haptic feedback for a while, many people prefer to stick with a native iOS keyboard. One of the big reasons is a privacy as third-party keyboards often ask for access to track all of your keyboard input. Fortunately, Apple has delivered an iPhone haptic keyboard with iOS 16. However, it is turned off by default. That said, let me show you how to turn on haptic keyboard in iOS 16 or later the right way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone running iOS 16 or later, then tap sounds and haptics. Then near the bottom, choose keyboard feedback. Then tap the toggle next to haptic to start using the iPhone haptic keyboard. It's worth pointing out that after turning on the haptic keyboard, you can also turn off the sound effect for keyboard feedback. As you would hope, unlike the sound keyboard feedback, haptic keyboard feedback works when your iPhone is set to ring or silent. You might notice more toggles for haptics at the bottom of the main sounds and haptic settings page to play haptics in ring mode, play haptics in silent mode and more, but these won't disable or enable the iPhone haptic keyboard setting that you have just turned on. That's pretty much it. So that's how you can take advantage of iPhone's all new haptic keyboard to type with the needed peace of mind. That's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.